Welcome to Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. Today's scripture is taken from the Gospel of Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said. Then he touched their eyes and said, let it be done to you according to your faith. When she looked ahead, Florence Chadwick saw nothing but a solid wall of fog. Her body was numb. She had been swimming for nearly 16 hours. Already she was the first woman to swim the English Channel in both directions. Now at age 34, her goal was to become the first woman to swim from Catalina to the California coast. On that 4th of July morning in 1952, the sea was like an ice bath and the fog was so dense, she could hardly see her support boats. Sharks cruised toward her lone figure, only to be driven away by rifle shots. Against the frigid grip of the sea, she struggled on hour after hour, while millions watched on national television. Alongside Florence, in one of the boats, her mother and her trainer offered encouragement they told her it wasn't much farther, but all she could see was fog. They urged her not to quit. She had never quit until then. With only a half mile to go, she asked to be pulled out of the water. Still thawing, her chilled body Several hours later, she told a reporter, look, I'm not excusing myself, but if I could have seen the land, I might have made it. It was not fatigue or the cold water that defeated her. It was the fog. She was unable to see her goal. The two blind men realized their goal because they believed in the power of Jesus. They could not see him, but they trusted him to do whatever would be best for them. Two months later, Florence Chadwick tried again. And this time, despite the same dense fog, she swam with her faith intact and her goal clearly pictured in her mind. She knew that somewhere behind that fog was land, and this time she made it. Florence Chadwick became the first woman to swim the Catalina Channel, eclipsing the men's record by two hours. Florence Chadwick is our sixth ornament of grace. As Jesus passed by, 
two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done to you according to your faith. Observing the beautiful ornaments, how can you keep striving for the goal of heaven when you cannot yet see it? How does the dense fog of daily life such as work or anxieties or sickness, sometimes make it difficult for you to see your goal. If you have good news, we expect you to want to share it. Salvation in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who for love of us and for our salvation came down from heaven. Salvation in his name, and he is the only savior, is what we are on earth for. Therefore, all those who spread the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ, we should encourage them. I can speak, but how many people can I reach alone? But the media, the television people, the radio, the newspapers, and all those who use the computer and its derivatives in various ways to spread the gospel. We must thank them. We must encourage them. We must work with them so that they can continue to spread the good news. There is so much news that is not so wonderful in the world, but there is also news that is wonderful on the gospel of Jesus Christ. We encourage them and beg God to bless them, especially the Shalom World TV. God bless you. Shalom World, God's own channel.